The Intel Foundation was founded in 1988 with a focus on STEM and STEAM education. We focus on K-12 through education, especially in under-resourced areas. So the Future Skills program is really centered on giving every student, no matter your background, experience, where you grew up from, an amazing experience to learn that you can be successful in STEAM. And that's science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. And so part of the program is centered on these design thinking principles and everyday skills that they're learning and they're working through that are gonna make you successful, not only in the classroom, but ultimately in the longer term workplace as well. Building the scribble bot, that was my favorite part because like you can create stuff. I don't really create stuff like that, like on daily basis, I don't really have enough time for like doing stuff like that. I learned how to like com communicate more and like think about, like think about how, how I'm going to create it in my head and uh, like draw it out and like sketch it to make sure that's how it looks and make sure it works, testing it. Yeah, I volunteer because the um, immediate impact you see on these students and kids is just something that is so inspiring. So they're practicing, learning the skills that um, apply beyond just that moment, but it's gonna to apply to everything they're already doing in the school classroom setting. So to me, being able to tie something fun like that and see the impact of it to kids and youth, it's just amazing to see. Whenever I'm like building something, I like get creative and then like add more to it. Some of the things I've done was like make scribble bots, paper circuits, and skateboards. Future Skills is a great way to sort of share the story of what you can do with STEM um, and, and really break, break down those barriers, you know, that it's not intimidating and that, you know, anybody can be a good problem solver. I have learned you should never give up. Like my first time doing it, I didn't get it the first time. I got it like the third time. And then one of the Intel people helped me and it turned on and that's when that, that what made me really happy. Giving back with K-12 and STEM learning is such a huge passion for so many of us at Intel. We love science, we love technology, we love engineering, we have so many great artists and we have a lot of people that are great at math. So the Intel Foundation matching $10 per hour for my volunteerism has amplified what I was already doing. And I think that it, it makes us uh, better volunteers, it gives even more to these schools and provides them resources uh, that they wouldn't have without the matching program. Having a STEAM education is allowing them to be exposed to what's coming in the future and not only the products of technology and engineering, but also how do I approach it? The collaboration, the critical thinking, the problem solving. So that's why it's important. Well, my favorite part of Future Skill Program is working with my working with my friends on the project because if I don't know what I want to do and I don't have any ideas, my friends can give me ideas and stuff I want to do on it. The Intel Future Skills program has, has impacted our students in, a, in an extremely positive way just because it really has just exposed them to so many things, technology and manipulatives. I've seen how excited the students have been about it and uh, it's been cool to see um, just how they have interacted with all the different things. I could see myself as an engineer. Like you can learn new things to build. You can like, like it, you can make anything. What I've learned on the Future Skills Project is if one way doesn't work, then just like don't give up, try a different way. The kids at Woodcrest Elementary, the faculties, the teachers, the administration, the families, they are all in and providing every opportunity for these young people. So no matter what, wherever their life is going to take them, they're gonna be prepared because of this school and the people that have wrapped their arms around them. And it has been a tremendous honor that we've been invited to participate in that. Every time we come, these kids surprise us with their ability to think critically, to try new things. They are applying the engineering design process to everything that they're doing. Um, we love it here. It's a great place. We have had over a million hours of volunteerism logged by our employees every single year. With the exception of our two COVID years when we weren't allowed to do things in public, and even then we were in the high 900s. The foundation funds also our seed grant, which is now our Intel Involved Community Service Award. And the seed grant was what brought this particular project to life. 
The Magdalasnorn Preserve is a critical piece of habitat in the region. We have over 1,000 species of native plants and animals here, and our aim is to protect them in perpetuity from threats like habitat loss and climate change. They had a need where if we could identify grasses, in this case, buffalo grass, to see if they can uh, eradicate it easier. For them to look for buffalo grass, they need to send crews on this vast terrain, which is over 30,000 acres of land. And the problem with the um, working on this environment is a harsh environment. If we can do it with a drone, it can take all of those elements out of the way. We can do it faster and more efficient. We flew you know, 3,000 feet up a mountain. It would take hours over very difficult and dangerous terrain to get there. We can fly up there in a matter of minutes with a drone, get all of the data acquisition imagery we need. By mapping it all onto something like Google Earth or something similar, you know, we're able to better understand where these plants are. And once they're of a critical size, you know, coordinate with a larger group of volunteers and, and professionals to go out and eradicate them effectively. My personal values is to give back to the community. Uh, and through this project, I'm able to do that by um, providing sustainable solutions for our conserv conservancy. And uh, also professionally, I want to build my AI skills. And this project is helping me do that. It's a breath of fresh air to be able to engage in something completely new, you know, that we otherwise wouldn't have access to. The, the project allows people from very diverse backgrounds and interests to contribute and collaborate, and that allows you to uh, create a partnership and a sense of helping the environment that is very diverse and very wholesome and very global. I'm hoping that it serves as an example of how you can use AI with local communities to help create environmental and uh, planetary outcomes that help benefit the world. It's been wonderful to have Intel employee volunteers involved in this project. They're dedicated, so knowledgeable, and always ready to innovate and look at the project from new angles. So they've been an absolute joy to work with. The fact that we can work with the people who have to worry about this on a daily basis you know, is a great honor, but also you know, makes my work meaningful. I've appreciated working for Intel for quite a long time. Their involvement in the community has been great. I've loved the engagement with the McDowell Conservancy here. It gets me out of my comfort zone, out behind the desk, and doing something that is very valuable for the community.